Hello everyone, are you ready for another adventure? It's me, Wookie, and I'm back with another Fate Grand Order video because today I wanted to talk about the Fate Grand Order Developer Diary, which is something I totally wasn't expecting for the NA version of the game that they decided to do. It has some stuff coming up that was not on the schedule because we usually follow JP's schedule, but every once in a while they throw out some quality of life updates pretty early, um, which is always fun. And this one's a very weird case because we don't get Samba Santa this year because they skipped it on JP, so we have to skip it on NA which is just kind of the way it goes. If they do, if they don't skip her, then that means that we got an event back before JP did, which completely, I think, is funny. And I really wish they did, but I don't think they're gonna do, just because they want to keep to that timeline. But whatever. That's gonna be today's video. I hope you like it. If you do, you can leave a like. It helps me out a whole bunch. Supports the channel. Lets me see that you guys enjoy this, and tells me I'm doing a good job. Dislike also will show me I'm doing a bad job. So feel free to use that if you don't like me. Uh, or the video. <laughs> it should, it's not a personal attack. <laughs> I never take it personally, don't worry. And um, comment down below about what you're most excited for this as you we continue to kind of save up for Christmas and the very weird schedule that we have here and Thanksgiving because that's also a NA specific event. And yeah, and subscribe to me if you want more videos featuring me. So let's get into it. So this is the developer diary. Here's the base, very basic things. This movie is coming out on Blu-ray, which is the Fago um, uh, Camelot Part One, I believe. So I don't know if I don't know if I will get my channel flagged by showing that animation. So I'm not risking it. Divine Realm of the Round Table Camelot, which I think is Part One. So the Blu-ray is coming out on December 14, 2021. To celebrate, they are doing basically like a commemorative campaign there we go so on week one which is the start of the event which is the 16th um if you log in you'll get a leisurely walk and then the next week it is prayer of the night sky which starts on the 22nd and then week three it is a moment of amusement and on week four it is a light lunch which is on 12.06, and you have to log in every single... As long as you log in, log in during the week of this, you'll get it. But if you miss the week, then you'll only get the... So if you miss this week, you log in on the 22nd, after the day rule, I assume. You'll only get this, and you won't get both. That's what how I assume it works. So remember to do that. Next, we are getting... Silver Butler Bedivere, which is a costume that is insanely early. If you want to know how early it is, our next costume was supposed to be um, Saber Altars from... What the hell was the name of this? I cannot believe I don't remember the Epic of Remnant that is this one. <laughs> it's the one with all the weird fairy tale stuff. It's literally the first one. Why can I not remember? Anyway, this was supposed to be the next one. Because the last one we had was Merlin. And then if you want to know when we were supposed to get the Betty one, it was almost a full year later because we had to get through the new summer outfits. And then we had to get through Skafest. And then after Skafest, we would have finally been in the position to get Bedivere. So in this special costume of his. So very early, over a year early. Go here. And next we have... Interlude Campaign Part 11, which, believe it or not, this is also early. Um, let me see. Note 2019. So this is kind of the way it was supposed to go here. As you can see here, we're already doing the hunting quests. We couldn't get this because we don't believe in Fate Prototype over here. Uh, we don't get the drama CDs, unfortunately. I wish we did. Uh, but basically, as you can see here, it would have been a big fat load of nothing. <laughs> it's all random Christmas. We're not having Christmas in Christmas for some reason because they're really they won't, when it comes to lost belts, they always have to happen on a certain day for them. So because this one has to take place in December, they always kind of place it here to make it make sense for the timeline. Which is really weird, but that's the way that they like to do it. And I'm not going to fight it because they've already had it. This is not the first time this has happened. As you can see here, during Solomon. During Solomon, which is right here. No, this is Solomon. What the fuck was Solomon? Here it is. During Solomon, it was taking place near Christmas. So they had the Christmas event right here in November. So it's not the first time this has happened. It's something that happens a fair amount of times. Um, so yeah, this one, 
Nope. Here we go. This one was actually supposed to be after the Christmas event. And it was supposed to be kind of on the lead up to Lost Belt. This actually makes me feel like... Now that I look at it, it was like, because yeah, this is supposed to be the 16 day anniversary. We're having that now. We're about to get... Do you think it's actually possible that because of the weird way NA does and how much we over here in North America care more about Christmas, that they will actually move? Move the date? I don't think so. Let's see, because let me look at how we handled this last time. So, think around here. No, we still adhered to it, so fair enough. Um, so chances are we will follow the same thing. But funny enough, this is these interludes do take place around the same time that there was supposed to be Atlantis pre-release campaign, so that kind of makes me wonder what the hell's going to happen during the Atlantis pre-release campaign. Yeah, because there's... Yeah, <laughs> that's... that's. Hmm. We'll see with this one, because without this to kind of go with it, it, you have to wait like seven days and do basically nothing. Are they gonna have another dead week? I don't think so. So that's something to kind of think about when we get closer to Atlantis in a month. What are they gonna add there instead? But anyway, it's coming here a little bit early. And... Nope, that's not the right thing. Yeah, here's the servants on it. It is um, Ivan, Tomoy, Valkyrie, Anastasia, Basically everyone from the Lost Belt, now that I look at it, Napoleon, uh, Lang Ling, and Ch Chin Yang? I'm not... The, the reason I'm unsure how to pronounce her first name is because of Kui Kui in Genshin Impact is pronounced Chi Chi, so that makes me feel like Quinn, which is Q-I-N, would be pronounced Chin. Hmm. If you actually know, let me know. I'm always interested to learn how characters' names are supposed to be pronounced. Uh, next, there will be a pickup summon featuring these units. And then, see, so this is the start on the 16th, November 16th. But along with Bedivere, because when Bedivere got his um, animation update, uh, his new costume, it also came with an animation update for Arash and him. So we're actually getting that early, but that's not the only thing we're getting early. We're also getting, wait for it, wait for it, wait for it, wait for it, <laughs> you get there, there we go. The battle on other screens will become full screen, so a full screen update much earlier than expected also a better version of the full screen update from what i've heard people saying so it's not going to be the first one that jp got it's going to be an improved version of it uh let me exit out of that because it's confusing me i was looking at that for a different video um so yeah that's kind of what's coming up here it's very weird because as you can see here in the events on the jp side it really was supposed to just be a very, very long kind of dead week, but they've kind of screwed themselves over. Not really screwed themselves over, that's not the right word. It's interesting because NA does actually have an exclusive event that does not happen for JP, and that exclusive event is the Thanksgiving special. So we're totally getting a Thanksgiving special at some point, and... Yeah, that's something else to think about, is that we're going to be getting this much earlier, and it's going to be a banner that is something special for Thanksgiving, is what I was trying to say. Uh, yeah, so I think it's interesting that they're kind of moving stuff around. I think it's very good that we're getting a lot of this stuff early. Um, it kind of gives me hope that during more dead weeks in Japan, because Japan has a lot of dead weeks, because they had to deal with a lot of stuff and there's various excuses you can give them which I think are valid for why there are so many dead weeks <laughs> so many dead weeks on the JP side but it seems like they are filling up on the NA side some player improvements super early as we kind of wait we always get events two years later because the timeline can't be rushed or at least they don't want to rush it for us I think in the Taiwanese version they did rush it and then it ended up being kind of a snake 
because it, it was going too fast and you don't get enough sync warts to justify the speed of it. Um, so we have to always move at a two year interval, but it is nice that we are getting these quality of life upgrades early because it's always nice. And yeah, that's basically it. I can't wait to get my boy. The fact that he got his outfit so early, like crazy early, gives me hope for the other outfits that are on here. Ones that aren't tied to events and stuff. Which, to be fair, now that I look at it, there's not that many here that aren't tied to events because this is all anniversary. Shinjuku wasn't, though. I remembered. <laughs> it was Shinjuku. Which I'm stupid. It, said, really, it literally said it right here, but whatever. But yeah, any future um, dresses like this that are not inherently tied to an event, we can get a little bit early, which is nice. I like the idea of that happening, so... Um, that is, I think, it. Look forward to that. It's better than a dead week, I'll tell you right now. It's better than what JP had around this time, if I look back, actually. Because, again, look, this is, like, no event whatsoever until near the end. Just, like, hunting quests, 18 million downloads, this isn't really anything, no interludes, no nothing, man. It's kind of crazy how dead this entire month was till the end. Um... But yeah, that's the end of today's video. I hope you liked it. Tell me what you're looking forward to. I'm very happy for what they're doing here. I hope they do more of this kind of stuff. And I hope that NA also breaks the mold and brings back Samba Quetz. Because there's absolutely no reason. No valid reason. There's no, there's a bunch of conspiracy theory reasons why Samba Quetz has never returned. But no actual valid reason why she's never returned. So that'd be nice for them to do on the NA side. Forget JP, just make it NA exclusive. But yeah, that's the end of today's video, everyone. I hope you liked it. I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.